What's up guys, I'm Ivan here and welcome again to my kit. Today we're gonna see how to sculpt and paint rocky water pits and this is gonna be the first part of this story. So let's start. The idea is to create a promontory of rock overlooking a mirror of water. I take some very thick cork and start gluing the various pieces on the base and I'm going to use headless modeling nail to secure it all to the base. It continues to create a secondary layer of cork. I will use standard millifoot cutting equal parts and start mixing it. In the meantime, put some water which helps to smooth out the milliput. I start sculpting the back to base, trying to create a smooth surface as much as possible. Then I start modeling stone by creating small balls in different sides with the wet finger. This is the final results. Now let's thinking about the bottom of the water. I will create bigger rocks with the high interest and gradually smaller and smaller to fill the sea bed. Here, what our base will look like with all the rocks in place. Now I start giving texture to all the rocks. And to do this I use very porous natural rock taken 7 years ago from the sea. I'll use Vallejo White Stone, a grid product that I will use as a put mix with the water to cover the walls. With vinyl glue, I glue some very fine sand to the sea bed. In the summer I usually go out and looking for some roots, because the roots are most suitable size for the use of dioramas. Create vegetation, I use this herb I found in model shop. I had some vinyl glue and water.
this is the final results. After having completed sanding around the rounded edges of the base to level it. My work horse is a fantastic airbrush, Iwata HPCS. As primer, I use the black primer for HK, adding Vallejo thinner and distilled water. Usually, I also add a bit of AK ultra matte varnish, but in this case, it's okay. After several teeth cuts, this is how it looks once primed. With Liquitex white ink, adding some ultra matte varnish, thinner and distilled water, I will create the likes. This mix allows me to create a more homogeneous and less spattered effect applications. After several hands, this is the final result. I must confess that I'm not a lover anymore of premixed colors. I'm learning to use it less and less because I think that creating your own color palette is the way to create something unique and allows your mind to figure out how the things working together. I show you how I create my palette for the part below the water. Also, adding to the mix the tone presence in my figure to create chromatic harmony with all the elements. Now begins texturing works. Always working on wet surface, this allows a better fusion between colors. Then I will prepare for the rocks the saturated shade of grey, warmed with brown and cooler with a kind of greenish. Now, take your best Winter Newton 7 series and destroy it. No, I'm kidding, obviously. Take the worst brush you can find, treat it badly, and this will be the best brush for texture. From here on, we will start slowly to add texture to the entire base of the model. Always pay attention to the direction of the light. You must always have reference to be inspired by nature. Using amber and black Liquitex inks for creating a kind of wash for giving three-dimensionality to the older rocks.
proceed to the final touch with white then give small maximum lies. Here is final results. Before pouring the water and gluing the model, I do a test to observe if our base and the model communicate harmoniously each other. In this case, I'm quite satisfied and I will be then proceed with the next step, but this is gonna be in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, keep on supporting my channel, subscribe, activate notification and stay tuned for the next episode. I wish you the best, greeting from my cave.